It seems like these directors, producers, writers, all they know how to do is just replace characters. They have no idea how to create new ones, make them work, and have fans love them just for being cool characters. Hey, what's up, nerd fan? This is your boy, Gershon. I'm gonna welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, we talk about No Time to Die, the new 007 movie. Now, this is not a review on the movie. Why? Because I have not seen the movie. However, there are particular things that have been leaked about the movie and things that the directors and the producers, all that have said, and even some of the actors have said about this movie, which is a little alarming and obviously uh, pretty lazy, but par for the course nowadays when it comes to creating characters and telling stories. So, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't watched the movie or you haven't already heard some of the leaks, so here's some time to turn it off now if you don't wanna hear this. So, it looks like James Bond is dead. So we knew that Daniel Craig, this was gonna be his last movie, but they actually killed James Bond. Now, this wouldn't be the craziest thing if before this movie came out, they weren't already talking about replacing him with Lashana Lynch's character, who by the way, since I haven't seen the movie, I don't know if the character is good, bad, cringy, excellent. I don't know that. So this is not me reviewing her character and saying anything like this. But once they already started gearing up towards that, a lot of people, you know, obviously started clenching their fists and didn't like that because people love the James Bond character. And there's nothing wrong with that. If people love a character, you don't have to replace them. You could just create a character that's just as important. Um, and it seemed like just from the beginning, there was already uh, a motive to create a character to not just replace almost a toxic masculine character of Bond with someone else, you know, a woman and not just a woman, but a woman of color. And even like Lashana Lynch and even the directors and all that were kind of talking like, yeah, like this is a perspective that we need. Now, if you want that perspective to be in the film, there's nothing wrong with that, but your whole thing is that is going to replace this. Why? I'm not really, I'm not really sure. So I was talking to my boy Taylor about this because he's more of a Bond fan uh, than I am. Like I've, I like Bond, but I was really only into Bond from like, you know, the Pierce Brosnan and all that. And then, you know, I watched like, maybe like one Sean Connery one. So I'm not saying that I'm like this huge Bond fan either. I need Bond, but I understand how cool of a character he is. Probably the most accessible, like cool superhero type character because really, He's just a smooth guy with cool weapons who gets girls, he's a good looking guy, he's got money, drives cool cars, stuff like that. So a lot of guys like, you know, clung to him because that's something that they could strive to actually be. Maybe not like a MI6 person, but uh, the, the little, his little qualities. And then like a lot of women also found him, much, you know, the actor is attractive. So it was kind of both. And that's just, that doesn't mean that you have to, it doesn't mean that it has to be the type of guy or girl or whatever you want to identify as. It doesn't mean it's what you want. I'm missing this is what a lot of people. And a lot of people seem to take issue with the fact that people love those qualities about that. And that's what they identify, they like to identify with. So they go, we have to replace this because this is something toxic. Also, there was an interview that there's a Shilinka got sent, uh, but from an interview where they were talking about, you know, Sean Connery's um, bond being problematic, being a bit rapey. And guess what? It's not the first time or, uh, that I've ever heard any old movie, you know, having some pretty crazy stuff in there did not age well, especially just being downright offensive when it comes to pretty much the almost sexual assault or pretty much that, right? So I'm not doubting that that stuff was probably more acceptable. But his last film was in 1983, right? Why are we talking about that? Because this, this is Kerry Fukunaga, that guy. The guy who's actually talk, who's actually making this film is bring up Sean Connery he's talking about like, yeah, like we have to move from that. Are we trying to say that every Bond in between Daniel Craig and uh, Sean Connery have all been like super rapey? No, because even they can't say that because even in the article, they were talking about just that particular Sean Connery Bond being that way, but they haven't been that. So why are we still talking about that? Why? And they're like, oh, we're, we're dragging people kicking and screaming. It's like, no, that's, that's not what people admired, uh, admired about him, but whatever. The point that I'm getting to is they want Lashana Lynch's character from what they were saying before the film to be successful. That's cool, but you don't make new characters successful by downright just replacing a beloved character of a few decades. 
what you have to do, which is really good, and wrestling actually does this pretty well, they'll have a new guy, you know, that maybe even put him in a tag team, and then maybe the tag team will break up, they'll fight, and in that feud, just from being around like this, you know, uh, prominent wrestler, they lesser known wrestler gets some cred and people actually pay attention now you can do this in writing as well so Lashana Lynch's character now once again I'm not sure exactly what happens you know in between right so I'm not judging that part but judging by the fact that this man ends up dead they went the replacement route the end result is what it is and it's you put a character that people have not grown attached to yet and then got rid of one that they were and mind you, he's never died in the other ones. He's always had near-death experiences, but he didn't die. And apparently he had like some type of like virus that he would give to his loved ones or something like that. And instead of escaping and trying to find a cure or something like that, he just lets himself die, which is just not really Bond-like at all, right? So now he's gone. And now like I won't be surprised if eventually because they were introducing Lashana Lynch's character there, you know, now she'll have her own movie. But did people really buy into her? I don't think this is the best way to do it. And look, it's not because she's a woman or because she's a woman of color. Stop. Because there are plenty of characters, even in comic books, that get introduced that people don't dig because they're not the other character. Because they just sprung them on you and wanted you to accept them. Superboy is one of them because he came after Superman died. And he pretty much was exactly the opposite in a way that people hated. Even Damian Wayne. Um, the way he came on, people didn't really dig him because they didn't want him to replace Tim Drake. And eventually he does as Robin, but Tim Drake still has his role in the universe. People were scared about how that was going to be. Ben Riley, you know, like the, the, the clone of Peter. At one point, they just kind of got rid of Peter for a little bit and just had Ben Riley be the center stage for a Spider-Man comic. And people were like, whoa, 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 not my Spider-Man. So it's not like just about uh, people of color or women. People, when they love a character... And you just replace them and you go, you gonna like this character whether you like it or not. People, fans don't really, they're not really receptive towards that. Best thing to do, in my opinion, is if you have him just retire at the end of this movie, even though obviously it didn't happen. And then maybe in her own movie or whatever like that, he's helping her out and then he just bows out. And you get a chance to really have her here. Now the whole, I'm not sure if this really happens or not, but I'm hearing it does, you know, she's you know gonna have the whole 007 number as well. Why? Why do that? Because now it's like she's still just now a female version of 007. She could literally just have her own number, be just as important, have her own story. And guess what? She doesn't have to fight social issues because that's what they were also talking about would be different. Like she faces different issues. It's like she's trying to save the world in the end of the day. Can we, can we do that? And that's really what I'm talking about. Like the whole just creating. Create somebody from scratch that is just good. Maybe gets the rub from a popular character. Then when a popular character bows out, they can be on their own. Not, well, I know you ain't gonna like it as long as he's around. So let me just go kill this one. And then here you go. Now you gotta accept it. Does not work. It does not. People will always reject that because people do not know the character. And you got rid of one that they love. Just give them another character to love. Doesn't that make sense? Let me know what you think about what's just being spoken about here. Once again, this is not a movie review. This is just the kind of tactics that I see happen a lot. Even with like Nubia at some point in the comic, they were talking about, oh, hey, you know, Wonder Woman's gone missing and now Nubia has, or Diane has gone missing. So now Nubia has to take the title of Wonder Woman. It's like, so she could only be like really cool if something happens to Diana. Like she can only stand out once Diana is out of the picture. Like, notice how this type of stuff always happens specifically to black characters. Like, the other people have to get out, have to not exist anymore. We saw it even with Miles Morales, like in the Ultimate Universe when he came out, Peter had to die in order for him to gain prominence. But let me know what you think. I know I said that already, but just, you know, thought diarrhea. Enter the nerd.